Hi, darlings. You're catching me at the precise place that I begin and end each one of my days, here in front of a mirror. This is gonna sound a little funny, and it'll feel even funnier when you give it a try, but I typically, every time I pass a mirror, get so excited and give myself a little wink or say something really nice to myself in my mind or out loud is even better. <laughs> Like, ooh, hey, good looking. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Gosh, where have you been all my life? Oh, you are so darling. Has anyone so darling ever existed across the expanse of human history? <clears throat> and while my dialogue uh, between myself and myself is not always this extensive, I do at least like to say one really nice thing when I pass a mirror. And sometimes it's just breezing by and blowing a little kiss. And then I get to another mirror and I get to say another nice thing like I love you you notice here that my mirrors get a little I don't know a little bit of malarkey going on I found window crayons made by Crayola and you can write on mirrors and windows all over the place but lipstick is the OG trick too that you can just leave yourself little kisses on the mirror it's just all about just really relishing and enjoying who you are in this life let's go to another mirror I'm sure you know this mirror. Lots of us spend tons of time in front of the bathroom mirror. Only the trouble is we're not being very nice to ourselves as we stand here. We're typically pretty self-critical standing in front of the bathroom mirror. So change your experience in front of the bathroom mirror by making it one of absolute rapture. <laughs> I love you. You're the only person I'm gonna travel this whole life with and I just wanna tell you how much I admire you. And saying things like that will really go a long way in how you feel about yourself and the way you interact with others. So I impl implore you, what? I invite you this week, I beg you to begin thinking differently each time you see yourself in a mirror. It's gonna feel super funny at first, it always does. And it's gonna feel even fraudulent, but I want you to stay with it. And you'll notice that you begin to change the way you feel about yourself as time goes on. And then you can feel really good about yourself. And before you know it, you're sharing more of yourself with the world in a more authentic way. And it's all because it started between you and you. And it started when you stopped self-criticizing and started self-reveling. So let me bow to you this week. And I hope you have a fun week of winking at yourself in the mirror and giving yourself compliments. It doesn't even have to be out loud. But the end of the day is a great time to do it. So is the beginning of the day. And then each and every time you pass a mirror naturally. So until next week, let me know how this goes for you. You can let me know too if it like totally freaks you out and you didn't like it. But just put your comments below. Let's get a dialogue going about this practice and see what happens. Okay, see you next week. Bye.